couple cows is here to trim in the office today. You come how often? I feel like every nine weeks, maybe every couple of months. Yeah. Incredibly painful. Very. Um, very painful. This one I want to show you guys because it's in a really unique spot. Um, this So this is a weight-bearing area right here. This is the first metatarsal head, and we have five. So one, two, three, four, and five. But this one right here, this callus just continues to build up in that area. Would you say is this your most painful one over here? Or is it more in More this? in those two. More in those two? Mm -hmm. So we've got it here. We've also got it here and here. So we are going to get everything trimmed up. You let me know if I need to stop because I know you don't have a lot of fat down here, so it's really tender. We talked about some Hoka tennis shoes or some type of tennis shoe that has a nice thick cushion on it the last time. Mm -hmm. Did you go shoe shopping or go digging anywhere? No. No? No. I'm telling you, if you get a shoe like that, it'll be like you're walking on a little pillow or a cloud. It's soft. Caitlin over here, you see her shoes. She's... She's got a lot of foot issues, for as skinny as she is, you know, she's a, got a ton of problems with her feet. And she's, we've been through a lot of tennis shoes and this one's the most comfortable. Which, and what's the name of it? This one is Hoka, but there's a lot of other tennis shoe lines out there. Um, uh, oh shoot, New Balance. Well, you see, that's what Brooks. I have, is the New Balance. And that's the only one that I found that will give me the support that I need. Mm -hmm. You know, there is um, a great group over at the summit. It's called Fleet Feet. If you ever oh. need help like with some more customized, personalized attention with shoe shopping, mm -hmm. just relax your foot for me. You're pulling away, I, can't, I can barely. I'm oh, sorry. No, you're fine. And we have to be really careful in trimming calluses like this because the skin is so thin. We don't want to... You keep pushing against me. You're making my job harder down here. There we go. <laughs> so um, if you've tried to, to trim something like this at home and you're buying blades, you know, the drugstore or something like that, be careful. Have you, did you try to treat these at all before you came in? Yeah. Okay. And uh, well, obviously you were- just be on the surface. Uh-huh. Wasn't as deep. Oh, no. Just on the surface, just to try to get some relief. Well, we can get quite deep with the blade. Um, but no, we can't see what you're doing. You well, know? yeah, and I got a bird's eye view. Right. Right. I'm sorry. You're fine. It's like your foot's pushing me this way. <laughs> Habit. Well, I don't blame you, especially if someone's got a sharp blade at the bottom of your foot. No, it's where when it's hurting, you know, yeah. you form that habit of trying not to walk on it as little as possible. If you need me to stop, we can take a break. No, no big I'm deal. good. That's just habit. No worries at all. Now, do you have any padding at home that you can, uh, that you've been wearing or anything to cushion? I've got the, the, that I put on the inside of my shoe. Um, the inserts? The inserts. Is that the one that has the, the blue? The blue, okay. Is that one that you got, is it called Power Step? I don't do you remember? remember. I've had them, uh, so. Wow. Have you replaced it? Because you probably want to replace something like that every six months. And we want to make sure, because it's going to break down. An over-the-counter one does not last. No, this is... Uh, I mean, they still pretty good. And I've had them for a while. Okay. As long as they're comfortable. And you just call for your appointments, don't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Alexis, you got sub, it's probably the same from last visit, sub one by lat, yeah, sub right. five left and right, mm -hmm. fourth and okay, cool. Got it. Riveting stuff here, our viewers love watching callus trims. They say it's soothing. Really? Yes, really. Which I guess is kind of like a, just a different version of watching a fireplace or like a stream. 
<laughs> I would love to know from our viewers what is it that you guys love about these callus trims so much? Yeah, or Dr. Pimple Popper. Sam is um, so gross to me. <laughs> there's a podiatrist that I know that has a TV show. I think it's on TLC. Um, it's more like, I think, interaction with the patient, though, and then the surgeries behind it. Mm -hmm. But I would love to know what's so relaxing about. I mean, so it's relaxing for the viewers, not so much for you, right? No. Okay, so last time you... We're here. I said, can you please soak your feet a bit? And I have. Did you do it this morning? No. See, Dr. Barco and I differ. I was watching one of her videos, and she says not to soak it because she wants to see what you deal with on a daily basis. Oh, no. The way Dr. Barco, let me uh, jump in on that, it softens them up so it makes right. it more and it feels better. It feels better, Dr. Barco. It is less painful for the patient. And it's easier on the provider. So it's a win-win situation. So let's see what her uh, her fans have to say about the difference. Of, I mean, because it makes sense. You know, when you're... No, when my feet are hurting, and before I make an appointment with you, that's what gives me the relief that I need. And it'll last for a few days. It only lasts, yeah. I mean, because you're... You know, it's so like... Yeah. It, 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 you know, it gives you comfort for... I mean, you know it's still there. But it softens it. But it softens it to where it doesn't hurt. You feel every little... She put a blade handle. You walk. She should use a blade handle on this one. Fingers are... So... Do you use any creams on here? We've talked about that I, before. And I want to see. I didn't bring the name of it. I hope you get. It. We have it in your chart. Okay, but it was in a, a look. It was a cream, the last one that I bought. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Because I called, I found the one that that I really loved, and and uh, my insurance didn't cover it anymore. This ridge. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you're fine. No, I'm just showing that this ridge here is so but hard to get. That cream so worked. Hard as a rock. Which one was it? Probably the Tessa. It was in a jar. Okay. Yeah. That has 30% uh, of urea acid diluted into the cream. Um, or So when you put it on, it helps enzymatically or kind of eat That's away. That's it. Yep. That's it. That did good. That ridge. I and mean, you have to be so careful with your angle because the way the skin comes up and the way your little toe's right in the way. I on top of each other. Yeah, they're pretty much on top of each other. How long have you had these? How long have you been suffering Years. with these? Years. Should have been coming years before I came. Mm -hmm. Space. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, there we go. That should feel much better. I got a ton of the bulk off. Mm, mm, mm. We are not done yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. What we're going to do next is um, pumice these down, get you lotioned up, and then get you out of here, okay? okay? So just call me whenever these pop up again and we'll get digging. I will. All right. Thank you. So You're much. welcome. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.